Hey guys, it's Deanna. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing on my Blogger Without a Blog series where I am taking you along with me on my journey to getting my blog up and running. Let me tell you a couple things that have been really helpful for me and then I'll get into like some of the back end and like what I've been doing on my journey so far which is pretty much in the infancy stages right now. Several months ago I found this amazing YouTuber. She is also a blogger. She talks a lot about blogging. Her name is Nakisha Wynn. I will link her channel down below or like put a video up here but she is so super inspirational. I love her personality. She makes really great videos and so she really inspired me to like you know what let's get this thing going this year. So she was a huge inspiration to me and then another thing that happened was I purchased a blogging course from Susie Whitford. She blogs over at startamomblog.com and she has this course called Blog by Number where it walks you through step by step by step on how to get your website up and running and that course was a godsend like literally the course is so good if you are looking for someone to like teach you how to do it I would absolutely recommend her course. I know there are tons of courses out there. I can't speak to any of those because I haven't used them, but startamonblog.com has been really good to me. And the things that I was learning before on the YouTube videos, like it just wasn't clicking for me. But then when I was learning from Susie on her course, things just started clicking. Now I realize that a, a website or a web page is made up of different sections and sections can have columns and you can add things like buttons and just different widgets for more functionality. And so the blog by number course has been absolutely and most tremendously helpful. I've been following Susie for over a year now and I noticed a trend that she does like typically when a holiday rolls around her courses will go on sale. So Mother's Day I snagged the course, started working on it, I started building out my website and really feeling confident about it. And so my desire and what I want to do is I want a super duper professional looking website and I don't want it to look like homemade DIY thrown together. I want my, my blog to look really, really good, like next level professional. However, I don't have the resources to hire someone to do that for me. So I'm just praying that God would give me the wisdom to be able to figure out how to really get this thing the way that I want it to be. And so that like I can use it as a platform that will bring value to other people. And so something that I did was I started researching different websites. So websites of different bloggers or different entrepreneurs and kind of to see like what's the rhythm that people are using, what's the flow. And I made a little kind of like a little graphic organizer for myself. I found six different websites and I would just kind of write the flow of each website. So for example, I was watching um, the YouTube, not YouTube, uh, what do you call it? Netflix documentary called She Did That about black women entrepreneurs. And one of the entrepreneurs um, has a blog called My Fab Finance. And so I looked up her website, love the way that it flows. And I wrote down like, at the very top, she defines her niche. She has a photo and then the next section under that is a short story where she kind of speaks to a pain point of like her target audience and she connects to like she connects that story to her and then she has her about me as the next section with like just a very short bio but then you can click on learn more and it will take you to a different about me page. Um, the next section below that she has an I can help freebie type thing which I'm supposing she will use to like build her email list. Underneath that is the features. I'm not going to have any features right now because I've not been featured in anything yet. Um, and then she has her blog posts as the next section beneath that and under the blog posts she has another section where you can join her community. And then the very last section at the, the bottom is she has a um, horizontal Instagram role. And so I did this for six different websites and I wrote kind of notes about what I liked. If there was a website that I didn't like I wrote like a big X like don't like. I'm not going to say the name of that one but for example she has um or someone who has like a blog post with nine different sections and then the section underneath that um, she kind of just repeats the same nine blog posts from above and then underneath that she repeats the same nine blog posts from the previous two sections and then her Instagram stuff is down at the bottom and I'm just like it doesn't flow well it doesn't make sense I don't like it so I'm looking for what I do like what I don't like and kind of seeing what 
I can use from different websites that I really um, think are put together and designed very well and also thinking kind of about user experience and how um, user friendly I want the site to be for people who land on it and so that's something that I would encourage or suggest that you do as well just kind of look and see what's out there see what you like see what you don't like and then come up with something of your own and so um, that's what I did and it's nothing fancy like I literally literally grabbed a sheet of copy paper out of my printer and just started making like a little graphic organizer um, that I can refer back to. What else is going on with the blog? So I logged on, today's the 4th of July. My first um, video that I filmed was also the 4th of July but I'm kind of like batch shooting videos here. And Thursday night, the 1st of July, I logged into the back end of my website, the admin part of it, and I couldn't get in. It said contact web host. So my hosting lapsed, so I can't get into my website. And for the hosting, you have to pay for that like every year. So when I first started up my website, I started with HostGator, but Susie, through her course, if you go through her link, I can get Bluehost um, for like $83 for the whole year and it will allow me to have multiple domains and each domain is just like a different website and I was talking to my husband about like maybe starting a website for him around one of his interests and go figure right like I haven't even got mine up off the ground but I'm like we can do this and we can do this and um I'm just really excited about it right now so I'm thinking about I was thinking about going with Bluehost and so when I called HostGator to like see about what was going on. They said theirs would be $107 to renew. And I was like, you know what? Hang on, I'm not gonna pay for that tonight. Let me just go check out Bluehost. But the guy from HostGator was telling me that um, like when you're switching hosting from one hosting company to another hosting company, it's kind of like moving and it can be a little bit of a messy process. And like that the new hosting company may pay a fee to move all the content from like HostGator to their server and so then I had to call Bluehost but they said they would waive the fee and I think I'd have to like in <clears throat> excuse me I think I'd have to install some sort of plugin or something and it just kind of intimidated me honestly so I think I'm just going to stick with HostGator even though I really would like to have um be able to have more than one domain through my hosting so I don't know. Let me know guys down below if you have a uh, website or if you have a blog and um, let me know about your host. Like have you ever used HostGator? Have you used Bluehost? I have heard from so many different sources online just um, that Bluehost is like one of the absolute best when it comes to starting off your website. Yeah, like if you have any info on that, let me know. That's where I am today. I currently can't get into my website because I need to buy the hosting and I'm probably gonna do that sometime after this video. So that's where I am in my journey right now. And so that's what I wanna do with you guys is just share this blogging journey with you because I feel like I can't be the only one who's wanted to start a blog and just has kind of had this immobility like you want to do it but you just haven't started or you start and you have to keep stopping for whatever reason so this is my journey from going to a blogger without a blog to being a blogger who is blogging and I hope that you will join me on this journey and I hope that you will feel um, inspired if this is something that you want to do too or um, if nothing else that you just <laughs> like enjoy the ride so Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. You don't wanna miss out. So also turn the notifications on by clicking the bell and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.